this chapter, we'll look at how to do the same sort of processes as Module 1, but with integers. Integers are positive. and negative numbers and zero. That doesn't look like a zero. Zero. Fractions and decimals are not integers. Negative numbers describe numbers that are below zero, to the left of zero, below C level, like you're losing something or you owe money. Remember that all numbers to the right on the number line are bigger. So let's look at this problem. Let's think about this on a number line. So if this is 0, this would be 1, this would be 2, positive numbers go to the right, negative numbers go to the left. So here's our negative 7 and here's our negative 3. So which number is to the right? The negative 3 is to the right, so the negative 3 is bigger. So we would make our symbol open to the negative 3, opening to the bigger number. Negative 3 is bigger because if you think about like money, this would be owing, neg owing $3 and owing $7. Well, owing $3 is closer to having money, so that's bigger. Absolute value is the distance from zero. Distances are always positive. You don't use a tape measure and get a negative number when you measure a distance. Absolute value is shown by straight lines around a number or expression. In order of operations, absolute values act like parentheses. You do what's inside first, and then you take the absolute value. So if we look at A, absolute, this is the absolute value of negative 11. So it's really saying, asking, how far is negative 11 from zero? What's the distance? Well, it's 11 units away, so the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. It's the same idea with this part B. If this is 0 and this is 4, this absolute value is 4 is really asking how far away is 4 from 0. Well, it's 4 units away. The distance is 4. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. Distances are always positive. So in this problem, we're wanting to put these numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So one way to do this is to look at a number line. So let's say this is 0. And we'll just draw this out. And let's put some numbers on here. So this first number is negative 2, that would be right here on the number line, that's its point or coordinate. Okay, this next number says the absolute value of negative 4. So the absolute value asks for the distance from negative 4 to 0, and the distance is 4. So we would put that answer here on the number line, so this is the absolute value of negative 4. Okay, this next one is an exponent. Remember that means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So that would be up here. And that's 2 to the third power. And then this last one says negative 5, which would be right here. So now we can just read our numbers in order from left to right, because to the right is bigger, smallest to largest. So when we write it, we want to write how it was expressed in the original problem. So when we get to this next one, we're not going to write 4, we're going to write the absolute value of negative 4, and then the last one would be 2 to the third power. So this is a little bit like the order of operations problem we ended with at the, in the last chapter. 
we're going to start inside those absolute values. So we're going to write the absolute values plus 10, copying everything else, and then we'll start inside here. So 30 divided by 6 is 5. And then the next step is to take the absolute value. Remember, it's like parentheses, so we do what's inside first, and then we do the, do the straight lines, the absolute value. So I'm going to copy this plus 10 just directly below where it is. The absolute value of 5 is 5. So then all we have left is 5 plus 10, which is 15. And that will help you do 2.1.